Hey guys, uh, it is just before lunch on Sunday and we are headed home as I said in last week's vlog. Um, it is so cute when I was crocheting and stuff um, at my brother-in-law's house um, when things were busy or tense or, you know, you know, I mean, it's therapy for me, y'all know that. Um, it's so cute because they have a few granddaughters, three granddaughters, and all three of them came up and asked what I was doing. And um, they, I gave them all a little granny square thing to take home with them. One of the moms crochets. So I said, here, take this. Your daughter wants a, a piece. And you can add to it and make a blanket. Just keep crocheting on it. And make you can make it bigger and bigger and bigger. And I said, if you have any questions, call me. So that was really cute, unexpected part of this weekend. Um, I did end up coming home with a bunch of his mom's sewing stuff. And I did find an unexpected ball of yarn in her stuff, uh, which I'll put a picture here. And I already started crocheting with the yarn. I'm gonna add um, the pieces I make with it to some kind of blanket or something at some point. Um, but yeah, it was a good weekend, but a sad weekend. So as it always is when you have to do something like this, right? Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Monday, March 11th, 11.06 a.m. Um, we have the grand dog because I don't even know what I vlogged yesterday. It's been one of those kind of couple of weeks. Anyway, we met up with the kids on the way home from California and um, we took the dog because uh, the two of them, a uh, baby and the dog is a lot. So for a 10 hour drive. So anyway, we took the dog. So we're gonna bring her home this afternoon. In the meantime, you can hear the washing machine. We've got loads and loads of laundry and things to put away. I got a lot of it done. It's not all done, but we got a lot of it done. Um, my mother-in-law or somebody that she knew, I don't know who, and she's not here to ask anymore, which is sad. Um, evidently did embroidery because we brought some things home and um, we are gonna hang them on a wall here. Um, I also found her cookbook notes. So I'm gonna go through that when I have a chance and scan a bunch of stuff for everybody. But anyway, it's a lot. And there's still more stuff to take care of in California and Bob's gonna be in pretty much constant communication with his brother about that. So there were loads and loads of photo albums. So we took some home. So anyway, there's a lot to do today kind of before tomorrow when he goes back to work and I start babysitting again. So we're gonna try to get a lot of it done. We'll see, I'll be back. I don't think I've filmed anything yet today. <laughs> um, it was a babysitting day, so there's that. Um, it's almost six o'clock, I think. And um, Junior went home a while ago. I just got the little bit of vlog footage I have edited. Um, so that's done. I'm putting a few randomness pieces away. And hang on one second. And one of the things I've inherited is my mother-in-law's old sewing machine, which is an old all metal singer machine. Um, I don't know the date on it right off. I guess by looking at it, the 1960s sometime. It's an old singer Spartan 327. Let's see if there's a date in here. Which I'll have to Google it. It might be older than I think. If you all know, put it down in the video description, but there you go. I'm guessing it's a good old workhorse. So I'm gonna give it some love and attention and 
This will be staying in the family. I don't really need another sewing machine, but I have a feeling I might love this one. So anyway. <sighs> yeah, so that's pretty cool. I also inherited a whole bunch of sewing needles. And as I told my husband last night, I probably don't need any for the rest of my life, hand sewing needles, because <laughs> this is, now I have a lot of them. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. She's even got the owner's manual. Yeah. I haven't used a machine like this in a very long time, so that ought to be interesting. I'll be back. I just Googled it, and this beautiful piece of machinery was made between 1960 and 1965 in Scotland. Heck yes, I'm keeping it. Boy, I hope she works. <laughs> All right, so um, that will be a project to clean the machine. And thankfully, there's some instructions in the manual. So I'm sure there's a video out there somewhere on YouTube. It's the kind of thing that I don't know if I trust to take it in somewhere. I'm sure there's some trustworthy professionals out there. And I know of one sewing machine repair place here in town in Oregon where I live, but... I think, unless I have to, I'd rather not. All right, what do you all think? I'll be back. One of the few good things about spring forward, it's still light out when Bob gets off of work, so we're gonna go for a walk. Babysitting here and all. Yes, this is what, I, what it looked like after babysitting day. It ain't pretty, but what are you gonna do? All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. March 13th, I think, 12.02 p.m., just after lunch. We are headed, though, before we have lunch, to the post office to mail off our tax returns, because that's got to happen. We have about a month to get them back and get them filed and pay. I'm assuming we have to pay. We always have to pay. Anyway, um, so we're going to go do that. I'll check the P.O. box while we're there. I've got the paperwork. I've got tape. I've got a pen. Mr. Bob's grabbing his phone, and we'll go get that done as quickly as possible. I'll be back. for the day. Yes, I still have babysitting here. No jewelry and I smell like spit up. <laughs> but I'm going to go for a walk. He was a lot. 11, but he was a lot. So we're going to go get some steps now and then go home, take a shower, put on some pajamas and spend the rest of the day having a cup of tea and relaxing. I have to bring some stuff down from upstairs for tomorrow. And then tomorrow I have the dentist at one o'clock and then afterwards I'm gonna go run and get everything else we need for dinner, family dinner. And yeah, it's all good. I'll be back. Oh, by the way, I filmed a video clip that you've already seen and you don't know why I have it in there. So those are all my leftover yarn scraps and ends. I don't throw any of them away. And I'm planning on, as I was doing, cutting them up, doing my best to sort of shred, shred them. I wish there was an affordable fabric shredder, but anyway. And then we're gonna use them for stuffing of amigurumi or hexi puffs or something. So anyway, I'll be back. Okay, between COVID at Thanksgiving, my dad passing out at the table at Christmas. Long story, don't ask. Anyway, and everything else that's happened, this little path is a big loop, but I don't remember exactly where it comes out or what's on the other side, because I don't, it's been a while. So we're gonna go see, I'll be back. Hey 
Hey guys, obviously I'm in the car out running errands. It is Friday afternoon, two o'clock, uh, family dinner night. So I need to finish up what I'm doing and get home and start dinner. Um, we're having pulled pork, so I need to get it in the crock pot. But anyway, I'm out running a few errands first and I had a dental appointment. Everything is good, yay. Um, they did a fluoride treatment, so I can't um, eat anything crunchy. Uh, or hot until three o'clock. So uh, I gotta go grocery shopping, so I might as well do that. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do some cleaning and rearranging this weekend um, because it's time to purge a couple closets, but also because we brought some of Bob's mom's stuff home. So I'll keep you posted how that goes, but I had to stop and get a few supplies for that. So anyway, I think the daughter, when she comes over, they're gonna be going through her boxes of her old baby toys. I think she's thinking we have a lot of old randomness toys and not a lot of American Girl doll stuff. She's greatly underestimating how much American Girl doll stuff she has, just FYI. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Bob is upstairs finishing up some vacuuming. We, um, the, fil f the footage you just saw is us driving into downtown Portland to the Expo Center, and we went to um, a hot rod show, which was a lot of fun. And then we went and ran a couple of errands, and then we came home and we had a couple chores on the list to do this weekend. Did not really think we'd get them all done today, but we did, so we put some Family mementos, whoops, up on top of the cabinets. Those three canisters right there, and even the rusty one. Those were my grandmother's a wedding gift when she got married. She's been gone for a while now, so pretty cool. Anyway, there's a few things from Bob's mom, those in particular. So we got them up there on the shelves. We'll put some greenery or something up there at some point, but for right now, that's good. We also cleaned out the storage closet upstairs, which had tax returns going back to 2007. So, yeah. Anyway, we're both pooped now. <laughs> and we have a pile of stuff there in the hallway that's got to go away somehow. So anyway, and I see more lint on the floor. And it's, but it's a beautiful, warm, sunny day here. Yay. All right, I'll be back. Anything else I need water? Yeah. Okay. Hit the wrong button. Hit the right button here. I did now. Oops. So it's been a long day. It is 11 o'clock at night. We were just getting getting ready to go to bed. And I said, oops, I forgot to close the vlog. <laughs> I was catching up on my drawings, working on some crochet. Once we finished with um, putting some things up on the kitchen cabinets. And we did clean out the storage closet upstairs, which kind of surprises me. So next week, I've got to take some stuff to the secure shredding place. I've got to return some library books. So, but anyway, that's for the next vlog. It's been an interesting week. We're starting to get back into the groove of things and all of that. But yeah, um, Bob's mom will be greatly missed. So Anyway, l hug your loved ones, tell them you love them, spend time with them, enjoy them while you can. That's my advice. Anyway, um, also don't forget to like paint or crochet or knit or whatever creative thing you do, do, go do it. Enjoy life while you can. That's, you know, um, bonus points. When we were cleaning out the storage closet upstairs, I found... Uh, a few things I made for our daughter back in the day. <laughs> I forgot we're in there, so that was nice, including a, a, a big scarf, a uh, Harry Potter scarf. So anyway, go Gryffindor. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, check the video description for relevant links. Also ways to send happy mail, ways to support the free content on my channel, including buying my stamp designs at either Rubber Moon or Art Foamy. Foamies, sorry. Uh, and also um, joining my Patreon. It's only a couple bucks a month and I share patterns and all kinds of stuff over there all the time. 
and we have a ready Facebook conversation. Um, and when I'm near a computer, there is a Patreon, like instant messenger type conversation. We do too. Uh, but yeah, check out the video description. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Above all, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. S do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'm going to go to bed. I think that's a nice thing. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.